this is hydrogen tap. After the last test, which has been intriguing to me, noting that it might not be the best avenue to go to put alternating plates and not even the best avenue to go using neutral plates. The answer might lie in using more of one side than the other, such as more positive than negative and vice versa. Right now what I'm using is I'm putting six plates positive and those are the six as you look. There will be six plates positive here and two plates negative on each end. So the ends will have negative and the center will be positive. Interesting results and I'll show you what that looks like. I'm using a 12 volt supply. On the left will be the amperage. Looking it up right now. Remember, this is more positive than negative. There's your amperage, 536. Your amperage 553. And look at the hydrogen that's being produced here. In other words, there are six plates that are positive, two plates that are negative. Negative is where we're getting our hydrogen. There's your voltage drop is at 11.14. Okay, then I'm going to switch them. Now I switch the cables on the battery so that now there are six plates in the center that are negative in two plates, one on each end, to be positive. Put it on now. Look at our amperage, it's 545. See the hydrogen coming up. Again, there's your amperage, 551. Voltage drop is 1102. Interesting, huh? Okay, this wouldn't be anything until I take the plates apart and fix them the regular way, so I'll do that now. The uh, Aaron cell I'm show that I'm doing this test with, you can go to hydrogentap.com and see it. This is the special cell that has the plates on it so you can put make it into neutral plates. But the standard Aaron cell allows you to change these plates like I'm doing now. It's three inches by six inches. I'm going to point out this is that new tapered 
stainless steel electrode or screw that I'm using. It worked so great. Just would not believe how great, how easy it was to put it through here. So if you're thinking of building this cell, this is really working out great. Okay, what I've done now is change this iron cell so it's every other plate is positive. And there's eight plates on here. You can see how it's done. So it's alternate plate. Standard Aaron cell is between 15 and 16 plates. This is this is only eight. I'm going to put that in now. We'll take a look at it. Okay, here we go. I'm going to start it up now. Wow. There's your amperage, 1106. Got a voltage drop down to 10. Now, the amps have more than doubled. Putting out more hydrogen. Not that much more. That's your amps. Nine amps. Interesting. Turn it off. At the very least, this is telling me one thing that this has got to be looked at a lot more carefully. I think for those of you who are doing more testing, hopefully there's a lot, keep this in mind. What you just saw was the difference between forcing the hydrogen plate, the negative plate, by putting more positives in and or doing every other plate. Obviously you have more amps going through it because the plates are closer together. I would hesitate to say this, but as usual I always say what's on my mind. This is a left-handed way of using a neutral plate. In other words, the others are using plates that aren't connected at all to the poles of a battery. What I did is I put and connected those plates to the battery, still getting low amperage, but I put them together. I hope you can follow that reasoning. I think it does make sense. We'll call it the left-handed neutral plate. How's that? call it whatever you like, but I think slowly but surely we're getting more information here and that's what this is all about. You can write me at johnarons at hydrogentap.com if you like.